Okay, so back at it. Uh, this Five of Swords was calling me because of this energy here. This is part two because the video stopped recording. Okay. Let's see, what's this Five of Swords energy when it comes to feelings deleting and decline? Oh, feelings deleting, declining the D. Wow, yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this is very obvious. Feelings deleting, declining the D. Okay, look, we got the world. Cycle has ended. This is over. Anything else? Oh, wow, somebody mad. <laughs> somebody mad. Okay, don't be mad, son. Don't be mad. Anything else for this um, feelings deleting, declining the D with the world? Yes, the Queen of Wands again. <laughs> the Queen of Wands closed this cycle out, honey. Not even playing with nobody. So what is this new love, Empress energy? Wow, we got the Fool and the High Priestess. Ooh, what's in the middle? Oh, we got the Fool. The hangman and the high priestess. So you take a leap of faith and you gain an enlightenment, insight about what you are being told spiritually. So you already know about this new love and you're gaining insight on it, a new perspective on it. Maybe this um, connection started spiritually. And you're taking a closer look at that from a different perspective because you've been getting signs, maybe in your dreams, maybe just getting visions, feelings, messages, their names popping up. You just see clues. Okay. And so that is what you're currently in the energy of. Anything else for this new love Empress energy? Wow. The Ten of Cups. Yes, you deserve that. The Ten of Cups. And you know what? Speaking on that meat and spiritually thing, that is amazing. And then we have the Princess of Wands. So it's like this is a new spark. But it makes you feel so good. You have the Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. Oh, they make you feel young, Queen of Wands. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. This new love makes you feel so young. Oh, and optimistic. You got a new spark, and you are so happy with this Ten of Cups. Now we have the Three of Pentacles. Oh, you guys are going to be coming together. And I'm also hearing he inspires your work. Oh. With that three of pentacles. And then we have Cupid's arrow. So somebody's going to be getting a love message. Let's see. Are you sending this message, Queen of Wands? Or are you getting this message? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this five of swords fall down right here by this D. Like, nigga is so mad. Mm -mm. Queen of Wands. I mean, <laughs> I say Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, you might have earth in your chart, or you might just be focused on your money, or this person is mad at you because they feel like. All you're doing is focusing on what you got. You ain't you ain't focused on nothing they trying to do. So that five of swords is for this whole energy over here where the feelings are deleting and the cycle closed out. They are mad. You don't want no D though. Mm, they mad, bro. So you don't closed out this cycle and you sexy and you don't want no D. They mad. They like wow. Anyway, 
<laughs> let's go back over here to this cupid's love arrow with this new love situation that's what we want to hear about we ain't trying to hear that we don't want, we don't want to hear nothing about that other dude over there nah he he's declined he's declined in everything he's declining in everything in his life I don't want to go down with you, right? No, thank you. Okay, so anyway. Mm. The Magician. Wow. Wait. So we have the Magician with this Cupid. And I was trying to clarify what's up with this Cupid energy. And you telling me you manifested that? You telling me you manifested that? Look at that six of motherfucking wands. That's a yes. Okay. Okay. With that two of swords at the bottom. Yeah, yo. Yo. The two of swords at the bottom, right? With this five of cups. You call judgment and with the judgment behind it? Mm -mm. And you stable. You're stable. You call judgment on this five of cups. You're stable. You call judgment on this five of cups energy. And you're blocking it out. You don't want nothing to do with that. All of that energy goes for this side over here with this person trying to offer you some D. And you don't close the cycle out with that. You don't want nothing to do with that person. You probably block this person. Mm -mm. So over here, you done manifested this victory with this. Uh -uh. You done manifested this communication of this Cupid's arrow. With this new love, and you are victorious. You got the victory, y'all. I like that. And then we got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck for that one. So we got justice, four of wands at the bottom of the decks over here. And we're going to go to these oracle cards. This one says reconciliation, but we already know that's for this person over here who want to reconcile with you. But you over here manifesting, living your best life, Miss Empress, okay? Have a victory upon victory, okay? Work, love, relationships, friendships, okay? All of that. And they think you a heartbreaker. They calling you a heartbreaker now because you broke the player's heart. What? Wow. Okay. Because you don't want the player. You're a heartbreaker. Wow. Didn't know the player had a heart. Okay. Yes. Look. We have quieting the mind as far as that reconciliation goes. We have healing as far as that relationship goes, that reconciliation goes, that this person trying to come through with. And we have clarity here. Okay. Clarity. You see clearly that that is not what you want. So... This person has to um, quiet their mind and heal and get the clarity because you already did. And at the bottom of the deck, we got truth. Okay? The truth. You already got your clarity. And the truth is this person need to clear their mind. Wait, quiet, quiet their mind. Heal. And gain clarity as well about the truth. Because the truth is the truth is the truth. Okay? The truth. Eyes closed, eyes open. Don't matter. The truth is the truth. Okay? Now, what we got from Isis? At the bottom, like I said before, high priestess, mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis. So, this quiet in the mind, healing, and clarity, you might be um, connected to Isis. And she might have helped you clear your mind okay even if you don't know she probably did because it's popping up okay mysteries revealed in the eyes of isis so since the mysteries was revealed to her she made sure that you was able to quiet your mind heal and get that clarity of the truth so what else do we have from isis okay Life restored, period. Priestess of the Phoenix, you are the priestess of the Phoenix. You are the priestess of rising above obstacles. You are. 
that rising phoenix, the priestess of the rising phoenix says, okay, let's speak. All right now. And what's at the bottom of the deck? Divine guardian protection of the winged mother. Okay. You are protected, highly protected at all times. So this person over here, hopefully they get the hint. Um, until next time, you guys keep it moving and keep doing what you're doing because I know they want to call you whatever they want to call you, but guess how you look right here. You still look good. Don't matter what they calling you. Tell about you a heartbreaker. Okay, like, well, let me break your heart then because you're not coming back, sir. And with the side eye on that nigga. The fuck you thought, nigga. That's how you... The fuck you thought, nigga. Period. All right, guys. See you later.